Hi, I'm Betsy Scott. I'm an executive director with the Housing Innovation Alliance. We're here at the Innovation Summit with Margaret Whelan from Whelan Advisory. And she is actually on our board of advisors. And I wanted to take the opportunity, many of you have heard all sorts of interesting things from Margaret in the past, but we have a segment we're doing called Her Stories in Housing. There are a lot of fascinating women in the housing industry. I think there should be more. Mm -hmm. um, and I realized I have no idea how you got into housing. So can you tell everyone kind of how you got into the business? Yes, I'm happy to. And thanks for the opportunity. So I grew up in Dublin, Ireland. I graduated from university in 1994. I was recruited by one of the investment banks on Wall Street to come over and do, to your training program. Little did I know, 25 years ago, I'd still be here. And um, through the course of those two years, I identified housing and construction as an industry that I was very interested in and passionate about. Mm -hmm. One reason was just it was very easy to understand. And it compared to industries like technology, uh, where there were potentially more jobs, more opportunity compensation wise, but this was something that I was very taken with. And what's interesting about the reason we're here today, the Innovation Alliance, talk about the opportunity for innovation, is that I graduated in 94. I was in the housing, construction, investment banking advisory business by 1996. Going into Y2K, a lot of people on Wall Street were leaving mm -hmm. to go to Silicon Valley to do startups, not necessarily in housing and construction. There were a couple, but not that many. Most of them were ill-fated, unfortunately. And so a lot of people came, they started calling B2B back to banking. B2C, back to consulting. <laughs> I know I'm really aging myself with this story. But for me, I just stayed very focused on it. I, um, I made a transition about 10 years ago where I left UBS, where I was uh, the global head of housing research, uh, worked with construction companies on capital raising all around the world for, there for over a decade, and moved to JP Morgan to do investment banking with the same Rolodex, the same expertise, but just a different side of the wall on Wall Street. Great. Well, exciting that you're here. I'm very passionate about housing as well, and great to hear your story on that front. If there are women out there who are looking at housing or thinking about, is this the industry for them, what kind of advice would you give them? Um, you know, I have never thought about professional opportunities relative to gender. I've always just thought about where am I and where do I want to be and what's mm -hmm. the fastest way to get from A to B. It is an industry where about 90% of the purchase decisions are made by women. So therefore, we should be consumer driven, all of us at the, on board level, I'm on several uh, public company boards in the industry, all the way down to the day-to-day -day interactions in the sales force with, with uh, the consumer. So I think the opportunity is whatever you want it to be, but identify companies with strong cultures. We, had, mm -hmm. we were fortunate to have Taylor uh, Morrison's chairman and CEO, Cheryl Palmer, open up at a great keynote presentation this morning, one of the only female New York Stock Exchange mm -hmm. chair, uh, chair, I think there's two or three percent of the total. Female, only female CEO in our mm -hmm. industry has a majority female board, majority female executive team. So if you're female <laughs> and you care about gender, that's probably a good way to start. Go to Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us. And we love to hear more stories about women who are in the housing industry. I think there's a great opportunity. Um, and a lot of diverse women with a lot of different roles, so you're going to hear more of that. If you know of someone or if you are someone yourself, reach out to us because we want to hear your story as well. Thanks so much. Thank you. Talk to you next time.